Hello guys, welcome to Inspiring Minds. This video is actually going to be very useful and very helpful for all those students, those who have recently started their medical schools or medical journey. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So guys, yes, I'm going to discuss firstly about the problems that a medical student faces initially like in the first year and then I'm going to tell you some inputs of mine that can actually help you to tackle all those problems in a better way. Secondly, I wish uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you many things I wish I had known before so that it could have actually helped me in my medical journey. Nevertheless, First thing first, it starts with everything seems to be new and everything is actually new. So it sometimes become, becomes very uh, sort of difficult and different for most of the students because they don't understand like how to get into that feeling because that feeling is actually very weird but still you have to cope up with it and there is nothing to worry about even if the things are new you are going to settle down with the flow so don't worry about that secondly uh, for the students those who study abroad uh, language is a major issue the language barrier but nowadays because of the uh, google translator and many such applications this issue has also been resolved but at the time when we went abroad when i personally studied like seven eight years before there were not so many apps but nowadays there are many apps and i'll put the link of those apps in the description down below and if you have any weird story or anything strange or funny story to share with regarding the language you can just write them in the comment section down below so yes and the third one and one of the most important issue is the food see guys don't expect indian food abroad like the taste of the Indian food abroad. You will get Indian food, but I will never say that it would be exactly like India or like your mother's food because this is not possible at all. This is not practical at all, but still don't focus too much on the food. Yes, food is an important, uh, is an important thing, but I don't think it requires all of your attention to it. Basically food should just be like for nutrition there and if you if you are facing many problems with the mess food or such things you should always go with the self cooking as i always tell you and uh, in my previous videos as well that self cooking is actually the best solution to cover up all the mess food problems and now new friends this age is actually very tender and in teenage we usually tend to go heavy with the friends but yes when you are abroad or in a medical school this issue has to be uh, catered properly you will get many friends of yours but you have to select the friends that are actually going to help you and those who have a positive impact and those who are actually productive for you and you should have a proper social life as well and when i talk about the social life it's not just about partying doing drugs and things like those social life means you should have a good bunch of friends wherein you can relax with them you can discuss your problems your your anything just to relax about so you should have a good bunch of friends and that is what your social life is about and secondly, a very important thing I would like to mention here is only in the first year you will have big groups of friends because you all have gone alone in a way but still you find your friends, you, you seem to find your family in the form of friends but still remember one thing, uh, in initial years, in first year, second year you will have a bunch of friends but eventually what will start happening is as your workload increases as the pressure of your studies increase the number of your friends will start decreasing start reducing so the workload and your studies is inversely proportional to your friends the number of friends so yes 
like when we when i went uh, i had a group of 10 12 students and i had a group of like 12 15 students 12 15 friends of mine but eventually when i graduated i just had two three friends that is what happens with everyone so don't worry about that and try to select or choose you actually cannot choose your friends but remember some things what i told you that you should have a positive company amongst your friends so yes again you will have new batchmates also like from all over the world like from different different parts of the countries different different parts of the world so yes you have to be open up don't just think like no i just have to do this thing don't be on a straight line the more you converse the more you enjoy with the people from different countries the friends with the different countries it will actually help you a lot in the future also so yes keep yourself opened up and that will help you a lot thirdly the hostel life hostel life is a very important part of your college life also and when it uh, it is the medical students life medicos college life is really a very important and a thing which requires a lot of attention see uh, you have to see what kind of friends you have your batchmates are from different different parts of the country or different different parts of the world now the hostel life it's you have to stay away from the hostel politics because you will have students from like your seniors the students from the senior years as well but most of the time what happens is the things go rolling around the the uh, politics you you mean yeah like the negative things like so you have to stay away from all those things if you actually want to enjoy your medical students life so you should stay away from the hostel politics and one thing which i want to mention here is ragging is still going on in some indian colleges indian medical colleges but there is nothing like ragging in the colleges abroad but uh, you can consider ragging like an introduction introduction is very much important because you should have a healthy relationship uh, a healthy companionship with your seniors which will help you a lot in your future years also because they are the ones those who are uh, those who have experienced more than you so they can actually help you like what to do in what all subjects where are the departments where are the hospitals and things like these uh secondly uh, studies like you have anatomy physiology biochemistry in first year sometimes you do feel like yes it's a hell lot of burden but you have to schedule everything in a proper manner what you have to do you have to make your time table your scheduling and you have to balance everything like at what time you have to do what subject how much time you need for the revision when you have to make the notes when you are going to uh, take the notes from the lectures that you have attended and when you have to read for the next topic so you you should have a proper schedule in front of you a proper plan structure like how you have to go about it and with the studies it's like the class timings also like the class timings abroad maybe because of weather issues you might be very lazy in winters especially like you won't be able to wake up at 8 in the morning because of snow outside in the winters but you are going to be the doctor so you have to be a bit harsh with yourselves and you have to attend all the classes and yes 100% attendance is must and you have to follow that so to avoid that thing what i would suggest you is make your time table like uh, don't be a night owl actually try to be uh, an early bird so how it will help you is if you will wake up early you can attend the class without any problem if you are awake till 2 3 am in the morning it has to be very difficult in that case to wake up in just 3 hours 4 hours and then go for a class you can do that or you would that uh, you would do that for 
a short period of time but in a longer run it is not going to help you at all so schedule your timings accordingly that you have to sleep by 11 or 12 and you should have a sleep of 6 to 8 hours it's not like if you are a medical student you don't get time to sleep at all it is nothing like that if you plan your time accordingly you will get time for a proper sleep and I would suggest 6 to 8 hours it's a normal sleep time and with your timetable you can achieve it and yes now homesickness yes you will remember home you will get into the homesickness phase quite a more time initially like for first two three months but as your classes start as you get into the groove you will start studying you will start devoting time to the things that actually matter more matter more so now in this case what i would suggest you is uh, don't just do like uh, talk to your parents or family people for a longer time do like this uh, in one day talk to them for like 10 15 minutes and once your classes start you will eventually focus more on your classes and your timetable so this is a feeling which you have to tackle with so you can sit with your friends you can share some things with them and that will help you i also had the issues of homesickness but still we cannot do much about it anyway you are going to achieve something very big so we cannot just think about this issue and uh, one more thing one more problem that we get uh, while studying medicine or while studying medicine abroad is like life ahead is very difficult yes life ahead is very difficult and this is not just the case with medicine this is the case with all the branches with all the fields all the streams but still life of a doctor is very different from the other profession so don't think like life is very difficult yes you will you will eventually get to know like what all things you wanted to do and you are practically doing the same things so don't think about future just go with the flow and let things happen experience new things and that will help you a lot thirdly like uh, the problems that we are facing is uh, you will face a problem like the dirty lab coach yes you won't get time to wash them so what i would suggest you is just to keep two to three lab coats and uh, change them after every couple of days and try to wash them at least two times in a week and don't forget your lab coats keep one lab coat in your college bag always don't forget your surgery caps and there might be some departments that won't allow you without the surgery caps your shoe covers like buck heels always keep them keep the changing slippers changing shoes in your bag don't forget these things i have faced many problems with that yes in first year you tend to uh, forget these things but still keep them always ready in your bag right somewhere in your room in, in front of your study table that you, you have to carry these three things daily and another problem while studying abroad basically in the colder countries is like uh, when you have classes in the morning uh, when it uh, snows everywhere uh, it becomes uh, a bit difficult to go to the classes early morning because of the snow and the weather conditions but don't worry that won't be for a too longer time and you can get over it nothing to worry about and yes if you if your hospitals are a bit far from your hostels so uh, arrange your time manage your time accordingly just to go uh, just to leave your hostel like 15 20 half an hour before the class timings because sometimes some teachers some professors they won't allow you if you are late so be on time you have to be punctual you're going to be the doctors and one more issue like uh, most of the students face is procrastination they procrastinate a lot for example if uh, they have missed any topic for say uh, they have gone to class but they have missed the topic so what they think is like we will do that topic on the weekend but once the weekend comes you waste your time you again procrastinate you again get into the lazy phase of yours and you waste saturday you waste complete sunday another week starts you again think i'll do it in the weekdays because of your schedule again your timetable your classes you're not able to do that so 
what this thing would do is you will miss many topics like this so you don't have to do that just remember one thing if you have a proper schedule you have to follow it and make a practical schedule don't just think like i have to study 10 hours in one day that is not possible at all for a longer run you might do that for one month two month three months but you cannot do that daily so if if you think like you can study 2 hours 3 hours a day write it and follow it because making a timetable it's not difficult but implementing it is the most important task you will make one timetable you won't follow it try again try to follow it if you think like no this is not practical i cannot do that tear it off make a new one and make a timetable which you think yes i can follow it now and then go ahead with that timetable and you have to follow it and don't procrastinate once you start procrastinating you won't be able to finish your syllabus at all initially what you will think like is yes i have 6 years i can do things later on as well but uh, uh, according to the subjects because of the syllabus nothing would happen all you would do is you will lose time and you will just get a hell lot of backlog and you won't be able to finish it because time now you think like it's 6 years but i'm telling you mark my words you will feel like 6 years have gone just like this you won't even you won't even feel that you have wasted 6 long years so please follow this thing don't procrastinate make proper time tables and follow them religiously okay and i already mentioned this thing before as well relationship with the seniors don't think like they are seniors you cannot talk to them or any feeling that you have that is not right you have to talk to them make good relationship with the seniors because as i told you they are the ones those who have faced the same issues like you one year two year three years four years before so have a cordial relationship with them and you can ask them what all professors are there what kind of departments are there what sort of questions are coming in the exams so that will help you a lot and stay away from the rumors you will get many seniors when i say to have a uh, good positive relationship with the seniors that doesn't mean you have to talk to all of the seniors because some seniors would be like those who don't study at all those who don't go to the classes so don't be like them you have gone for a different purpose just remember that and don't fall into any sort of trap with the rumors kind of thing if someone is saying something anything negative or anything bad just hear that person and let that thing pass from the another ear you just have to do that सारी बातें विश्वास करने के लिए नहीं होती हैं आपको पता है आप क्यों गए हो उस पर फोकस करो कोई भी ऐसी चीज है आपको खुद ही पता चल जाएगी ढंग से आपको लाइक यू हैव टू नो दी रिलायबल सोर्सेस हर बात पे विश्वास मत करो अच्छे से जो कर रहे हो जस्ट कीप दैट डूइंग सो दीज आर दी बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स दैट स्टूडेंट्स फेस सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू सम थिंग्स दैट i wish i would have known so that my medical journey my college life would have been a bit better so first thing first it starts with uh, you have to enjoy your college life like first year uh, you have given your uh, 12th boards you have given your entrance exam and then you have gotten into a medical college so don't forget to enjoy you have to enjoy uh, and when i talk about enjoyment it comes with the responsibility and the maturity that you should have as to you have to know what you have to do at what point of time and don't just be a geeky student who just studies and doesn't do anything else because this time you won't get it back even if you don't study you won't get the time back to study later on if you don't have fun at this point of time you won't you won't get time to have fun later on as well if you ask me personally i really miss my college days so if you also if you are also missing your college days then let me know in the comment section down below and there are many memories that you will actually make in your college life and you will cherish them later on so have fun enjoy the journey and you have to be bold and you have to be open minded 
you have to take on everything you have to take uh, you have to take all the things on your chest face them fight with them and then conquer them it shouldn't be like no i don't have to do this i'm scared of this thing i am an introvert person nothing of that sort exists okay you have to take charge you have to experience each and everything just remember it don't get overwhelmed uh, with the studies oh i have so much of things to do we have so much of things to do that senior is telling this we have to read so many subjects again it's 19 subjects how we can finish it you will get enough time you should have proper strategies how you have to proceed on with the subjects how you have to read it everything is doable if they have put 19 subjects it means you can read and you can understand 19 subjects you are not the first student there and you won't be the last one either so don't focus or crib about that all you can do is just take action at that very moment just by thinking you cannot achieve anything you just have to take action and you have to take charge of that and yes be prepared for all the things positive negative good bad just be prepared because every every day won't be a good day for you and every time you won't get positive things about yourself or about anything so you have to be prepared so that you can get everything properly and you you can see and you can observe and you can perceive them accordingly uh, when i talk about college life i want to tell you is you have to enjoy your college life and you have to live it like you will never get your college life again so do everything at a right point of time so that you don't even miss on with your studies and you don't miss with the enjoyment as well so you have to as i told you you have to balance everything up and try to do the things that you like for example if today you're not feeling good so uh, get to know what all things you like the most you what are your hobbies things that you find joy in so you can do those things at that moment at that time for example some people some students they like to play guitar some students they like to play cricket some students they love cooking so whenever you are into any situation of that sort for example you are stressed out so you should just go towards your hobbies and you should just start doing that thing it might be you like reading novels so you can do that just take a time off and do that thing that will actually help you because this is a long journey and there will be a times when you won't be able to read or understand or you actually feel exhausted so nothing to worry about take a day off and do whatever you feel like enjoy your life enjoy your time and then next day just start on with your normal routine and if you are getting this feeling frequently then try to see what all things are harming you and there might be something that you are not liking so try to change that thing and reschedule your time table and you will again fall into the right place now it's like yes it is a medical student's life you are going to be the doctors you have to study first year subjects are very much important if you will miss your first year subjects now then you won't get this time again to read these same subjects because if you will get to know about these subjects later on you have to give your time of that subject to read your first year subjects again so for now when you have any subject give your 100% effort at this point of time so that you don't have to repeat these subjects later on yes as i told you try new things and focus on things that you actually want and then go ahead with it just go with the flow don't don't think too much about anything just go with the flow uh, get into the group of students that are actually productive and those who study properly and with the friends friends should be different this study group should be a group where you can find yes i can play on my strengths here and whatever your weaknesses would be and your other study mates can help you with it so a group of 3 4 students a uh, study group of 3 4 students would actually help you a lot but make sure that you study in that time and group studies actually help you a lot so you have to try and then test it so yes 
get yourself a mentor who can tell you what you have to do at what point of time how you have to read a subject how you have to prepare yourself for the exam so that you can have a proper road map in front of you and then you follow it because medicine is very vast sometimes you just dwell into it and you won't even know how to get out of it because it is so huge so humongous that you need to have a mentor that can guide you how you have to proceed on with it that's it for this video i have explained you i have told you about all the problems that first year students usually face and how you can get out of those problems i think uh, this video has surely helped you a lot if you want me to add anything or if you want to tell a junior students about anything that you think i have missed don't forget to write it in the comment section so that everyone can know about it and don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to share it with all the medical students and to remember something because this video actually when i i am making this video i'm i'm also getting very much nostalgic about my journey how i started and how everything has gone by so yes thank you so much see you soon